Okay, so with that, I'm going to entertain a motion uh, to open a, the public hearing for the school budget. I'll make a motion. Second. Uh, all in favor? So this is an opportunity for anybody who's here to come and ask some questions, and to the extent <coughs> possible, they'll be answered. Come on. Oops, I feel like I went too fast. <laughs> Well, I think someone has their hand yeah, up. Why don't you come down? Oh, I don't think you were here at the beginning. Come down, uh, state your name, uh, your precinct, and however else you might want to be identified. And uh, ask away. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Keiko Zoll. I'm in Precinct 6. Um, I am the mom of a student at Stanley Elementary. He just started a kindergarten this year. Um, and we moved to Swampscott um, from Salem. Uh, we were there the last eight years, and so we moved here um, over the summer. And in total candor, moved here for the schools. So um, just wanted to um, thank you for the opportunity to be able to speak in front of you guys. Um, I just had two questions um, as related to the budget. The first is on um, the administrative cost center detail um, code 5550 about the crossing guards. I was just curious as to where those crossing guards would be added. Um, added? Yes. Um, so the amount that I carried in this year's budget, and forgive me, I don't have the number in front of me, I think it was about $110,000. Um, two years ago, under guidance with the chief of police, there was a survey or a, a, a study done on traffic and where it was best, where we didn't have... Um, crossing guards to add them. And so this is the first year that we have additional crossing guard points. Okay. And so with not having a full year of salary with all of the new crossing guards, I, I budgeted I budgeted 110000 to be safe. Okay. So I'm not sure if the 108000 that's in there this year is enough. Okay. So it's not necessarily adding any additional crossing guards? We to added a number this year. Okay. Um, out of curiosity, what would if we wanted to request a crossing guard, how would we do that? At a physical intersection? Yes. You could send it to my office. Okay. And we work with our school resource officer, Detective Rose Cheever, actually okay. manages the crossing guards for us. Okay. And um, I will say on, so send your request my way. Sure. She'll do a study with the traffic committee probably, and they'll sit and watch that intersection. I do have to say on any given day, people call out sick. Yeah. The police mm -hmm. try to cover. They get a call out call. So... There are sometimes some inconsistencies of the posts, sure. but she does her best. So okay. just send it my way, great, and we'll pass it off to her and have her analyze it. Awesome, great. Thank great. you very much. I appreciate that. I live on Nason Road, so it gets a little nutty uh, down there. Bit, so. yep. yeah. <laughs> um, my second question, um, thank you so much, um, Superintendent, for clarifying um, about this, you know, like the 8.8 .8 full-time um, equivalents. Um, and I know that you mentioned earlier about relocating, reallocating resources um, to the benefit for the needs of the students. Um, and I'm just curious as to, the, yes, there could be the potential for reduction in staff at the high school. Given that the high school just received the National Blue Ribbon School Award, I'm just curious, like, if something's working, clearly something's working, right, at the high school. So what's the justification there then to potentially reduce staff at the high school? So it wouldn't necessarily be reduced. What, what we're avoiding is touching programs. Okay. So we're not, we're, the programs at the high school are working. The staff is working incredibly hard. I am so proud of the entire district because they all should be celebrating their work for this National Blue Ribbon. We're not touching program. What we're trying to do is make sure we're spending the money that we have in a way that is most efficient and benefits the students. So the reduction in staff may be um, a couple of non-PTS teachers, but we looked at schedules at the high school, and what's concerning to me is the class sizes of six, which we don't have the luxury of doing anymore, class sizes that are 12, 13. We have to look at that more carefully. Okay. And if the skills of that educator can be used in a different area in our district at a different school, they will be used that way. Okay. That's the best way I can explain it right now. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.